Hey guys, it's me, 4737 Studios, the guy who doesn't upload a lot and disappoints all of you. And today we're back with another video um, of cardboard guns. Now, you know, you've probably seen a few of these and you haven't seen a few of these, but uh, my other videos, cardboard guns, were deleted um, due to some reasons. And um, I'm just gonna show you some of my guns. Well, all of my guns. Well, the first one on my list is, of course, my first gun, the shotgun. Um, I have had some modifications to this one since my shotgun video. Like, I removed the title of this because I didn't like it. And um, I modified the um, mechanism in here. And um, just some stuff I can't explain. And uh, I also I made an ammo box for it. It says Winchester. So, no copyright. And it's 12 gauge, 1.5 inches, 120 or 1,253 velocity, 9 pellets, and 00, zero buck. I copied this off of a Google Getty image, so I don't know. And um, so I'm just going to... Yeah, here's one, and um, now we can load two in there. Here's one, and let me get the other one. And it ejects better, and as you can see, there's two in there right now. And so I'm gonna show a little short video on how this would work. Money, money, money. Ooh. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> so yeah, that would be the shotgun in action. I really love this. It's my first one of my one, two, three, four, five, six I've made. This is the sniper. And um, this gun is kind of self-explanatory. It's the second gun that I made, aside from the shotgun. And um, it has a pullback mechanism and you'd load another one in and put it in. And it has a scope, saran wrap on the front with the crosshairs. Um, drawn at with sharpie and um yeah i'm going to show a video of how this would work now <laughs> so yeah that's gonna conclude the sniper rifle next we have the third uh, gun that I made the submachine gun aka the SMG um, This is modeled after the same gun a character has in a video game same one with the sniper rifle and um, it has uh, a Magazine with bullets that are facing the wrong way. I Love that bit and um, the very oversized scope and the trigger and the, that, and so you would go like, ba ba bang, ba ba bang, bang bang, ba ba bang. You know, I'm going to show a video now of how that would work. So that's gonna do it for the submachine gun. And on to the next gun. Before I continue with this next gun, I just wanna point out that my older brother is taking a shower right now and he's blasting music in the bathroom. So if you hear some music, it's just him. Anyways, 
my fourth gun is the pistol. I don't know which pistol it is. I just searched up an image of a pistol and then made it out of cardboard. Um, you can take the mag out. You can put it back in. And it has grips. Lots of grips. It could go like, you know, the kind of same thing with the shotgun. It would go. It's the same thing. But Originally, I tried to put a silencer on this, but um, that didn't work out because it kept like flopping and falling off and I kind of ripped it in half and threw it at the wall because I was so frustrated. But yeah, I'm going to show a short video of how this would work. Queen and a seven. I win. All oh, mine. <laughs> My money. So yeah, that's gonna do it for the Glock pistol. I don't know. And on to the fifth gun. So this gun is probably my favorite gun and it's really large. So that's why I've kind of moved position. It is the BAR 1918. This gun is, absolute, is an absolute unit of a firearm and it's like it it's awesome yeah and um it um was used in world war ii a lot it didn't really see any light in world war one but in world war ii it was a thing and as you see as an attachable and detach detachable bipod with a little scope at the end and a little um, grip here and it has a handle that you can go Because these things were so heavy you needed a handle for them And, it would go up. and then you would have the sight And you could go like And it was so heavy that you couldn't even feel the recoil so it was fine and um, here's the magazine that is a big round you do not want to get hit by. I'll we'll just go back in and then... It's probably my favorite. And the trigger works well too. And I just love this gun. And I'm going to show a video that will probably take forever to make. About how this would have served in World War II. And how it would... Uh, what's the word? Behave. I guess. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. What do I do? Don't worry. Let me handle this. Shoot him! So that's gonna do it for the BAR 1918. This is probably my favorite out of all my weapon, cardboard weapons, and I hope you like this gun, because I do. So this next one on the count, it's not a gun, but I thought I'd include it anyways, and I forgot to include it earlier. So um, this weapon, uh, it's not in order like all the other ones. I think it was in between the pistol and the submachine gun. Um, and this is the butterfly knife. You know. And uh, it can do flips, I guess. It's cool. It can go stabby, stabby. I, I'm not good at this. Should probably search up some videos of butterfly knife professionals, because I'm not a professional. And um, I'm going to show a short video of what this would look like in action.
<laughs> Off to visit your mother. So that's going to do it for the butterfly knife. And it's starting to get dark out. And I still have one more weapon to cover. Um, that's not a good sign. Because I've been working on this all day. And it's going to upload later. <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it for the butterfly knife. On to the very last weapon. This one is probably one of my least favorites, um, aside from the submachine gun. Um, this one is the double barrel shotgun. Um, the only reason why it's my least favorite is because I made it in about two hours and didn't really think of how the mechanism would work. And it kept breaking in half, and the shells weren't going in right, and it was just a mess. Um, but it's cool, I guess. The trigger works fine. It's probably my best working trigger, actually. And um, you break it apart like this. You take the shells out. You grab a new pair. You put those in. And then you go. That's another problem. I won't, like, stay in. You'd have to kind of hold it like that, and then, or you could hold it down, and it goes like that. And, um, yeah, if I had to write this one, it would be about uh, 5 out of 10, I gotta say. Um, I'll do a rating of all these guns at the end, in my opinion. So, yeah, um, I'm going to show a short film on how this could be useful. Only two bullets left. Gotta make them count. <laughs> so what did you think about the double barrel shotgun? I think it's pretty neat, but not my favorite. Now on to the rating. The regular old shotgun, 7 out of 10. The sniper rifle, 7 out of 10 as well. The submachine gun, 4 out of 10. The butterfly knife, 6 out of 10. The pistol, 8 out of 10. The BAR-1918, 8 out of 10 as well. And the double barrel shotgun, 5 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I sure did. Please, for my own sanity, please subscribe or something. Please. As always, my name's Far737, not really. And I'll see you in the next video.